good Wednesday morning, everybody. Today I wanted to talk to you about the different sockets in the arms. Socket is where your, your arm actually goes into the prosthetic arm, the outer socket, all right? There's two different types of sockets that I use, and I'm having some issues with them, okay? One design is affecting the other design, all right, if that makes any sense. So that's what we're gonna talk about. So cue the intro. We don't have one. If you can help me, send me a message. Maybe you can set me up with a uh, with a uh, way to make an intro. All right. Anyways, this is a skin fit design. All right, the one that I'm wearing. You can see my sound arm goes right into the prosthetic. Okay. Um, my skin touches the inner socket. Okay. This relies on uh, different features of your sound arm, your limb, okay? Like the epicondyles, the bones that stick out near your elbow. So a socket like this is gonna be very firm, uh, very form-fitting, I guess you'd say. Form-fitting, and it's gonna be tight within the arm, okay? It needs to be tight because it's using your features to weight bear, to weight bear this arm. So you're gonna be hanging off of the bones. And that sounds very uncomfortable the way I'm describing that, but it's really not, okay? So this plug here, if you could see, I'll show you in a second. This plug, okay, that allows you to pull this arm on by using a donning sleeve, okay? This is gonna roll over your skin, and then you're gonna feed this end through that hole in the plug. So you pull the plug out, it comes through the hole, and then you pull your arm in, and I'll demonstrate that one day. It's just this is a last minute thought I had on the way to work, and I wanted to share it. So you pull the arm in, and you get all the air out. It doesn't leave any air in there when you pull your arm in. So it's snug fit snugger than a shoe okay think of a shoe that's too small for you all right there's no room to move it's very form fitting so that's how this fits so then you put the plug in and you're good to go now if you lose suction if any air gets in there you sort of you'll just lose the suction it's going to start to find its way off of you it's going to start slipping it's going to lose that connection so you need an arm that fits very well so what I'm dealing with right now is this arm throughout the day is starting to work slowly work its way off of me and it, and it, it gets air bubbles inside so once the air bubble gets in it's just working its way around the, the suction of your skin to this plastic okay now what happened is you once you wear something like this in a couple in a couple of months your 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 sound arm your real limb is starting to form to the shape of this inner socket okay so once that happens it's going to start to shrink your your arm it's shrinking and that's what i'm dealing with right now and maybe some people don't experience that, but that's a possibility because I'm actually dealing with it. So, um, it's been, a, sorry, deer running across the road. Um, I got this in September. So September, October, November, December, January, February, March, April, May. We're on our 10th month right now. All right. And. September, October, November, December, January, February, March, April, May. Man, that's hard to believe. So ninth month, going on our tenth. That's hard to believe. Time flies. But anyway, it's starting to shrink. It's not fitting as good, and I don't have that suction inside the arm as long as I used to. Now, the bigger issue with that is I wear the other type of... Uh, socket system which is liner suspended okay this rolls over your arm 
your skin like a sock on your shoe, a shot sock on your foot, all right? And then this pin goes down into the arm like this, okay? And this holds it on. Now, you're not gonna lose suction with this. You could basically pull this apart before it's gonna slide off of you. If you're not sweating and you're not, you know, it, it's not going anywhere. It's a very good system. But, what I noticed is I wore this style arm for years, okay? And when I wear my prosthetics, when I wear my arms, I'm wearing them for a minimum of 11 hours a day, okay? Um, you know, right now it's 6, six o'clock in the morning. I won't take this off till 4.30, 5 o'clock this afternoon. So I wear them all day. The point is, I know I'm kind of rambling on, but the point is when you wear something like this, this is custom fit to you. They measure you specifically to your your limb all right it's very firm and what i and it goes further up as you can see it goes another six inches seven inches higher up on you so what happens is that presses on your skin for however long you wear it day after day week after week year after year and again it's going to constrict your arm it's going to it's going to manipulate the shape of your arm. It's going to uh, retain the shape of that liner when you don't have this on. Okay? It's going to train that skin to sit that way. Now, what happened is I moved to the skin fit. Okay? And being it's shorter, this section of arm where the liner would go is starting to relax and get a little larger. So now when I want to wear this skin fit arm, it's tight. I almost can't even wear it. You know, you see some videos where I'm wearing it, but I can only wear it for, you know, half hour, an hour at a time. If I want to wear this to work, it's just not going to be feasible right now. It's, it's What's going to happen is it, it, it fatigues my arm. And when you fatigue your muscles in the arm, you can't really operate the hand because it just, it, it it just basically seems to paralyze the muscles. There's no signals being sent out. And, you know, it, it just, it's a shame. So what I'm dealing with is two of these arms. I got a work arm and an arm for after work that's much nicer that I'm, I don't use to, to beat up and, you know, I take better care of that. So I really can't even utilize those arms right now. I have to use this arm. Okay, so now that this arm is not fitting that great either, I'm almost to the point where no arm is working at the, mo at the moment. So I have an appointment tonight to actually uh, get fitted for another inner socket for this arm. Okay, and hopefully that's going to fix it. And I'll be okay with this, but I think what I need to do is just start wearing this more and more Even if it's two hours a day an hour a day, but try to wear it every day. So this upper side of my uh, Skin starts to form back to the shape of that liner. All right, so That's just something to consider if you rely on a liner based arm But I don't really see that many people wearing liner based even on you know Instagram or anything like that so but I know I'm not the only one all right because uh, I really I really depend on these these are very very uh, these are a good tool for me during my day of work so I just want to share that hopefully this wasn't too boring but it's good information for somebody to consider and to keep in mind so basically I definitely recommend if you're in a situation like me wearing both types of sockets you know, try to switch them up a little bit. Try to keep wearing the other arm so every, your, your, your entire limb uh, retains the shapes of what you are wearing, okay? But that's it. You know, if anybody can help me with an intro, maybe set, set me up with a link or give some input, I'd appreciate that. And uh, we'll see you on the next one. If you have any questions, feel free to message me. And uh, see you on the next one. I'm thinking about uh, 
making a video opening different jars to show which hand does a better job and what has a better grip and try to show some of the features of the hands a little more. I had a, a bunch of you asking me in the uh, in the in messages. All right. Thanks for watching. See you next time.